In this video, I'm going to share with you my morning skincare routine now that I'm 40 years old. Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and I am the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. I'm also a skincare and wellness blogger. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I'm the founder of planetlauren.com and I've recently wrote my first ebook. It is called Manifest Like Lauren and I am just a master manifester. I have the craziest stories on things that I bring into my life. It's this gift I have, but it's a gift we actually all have. You just have to learn how to tap into it. And in my book, I share with you my secret recipe. So I'm 40 years old now. I've actually been 40 for almost a month. It's crazy because I still feel like I'm 28, but I'm not. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's just the reality of it. I think for anyone who's 40, they know exactly what I'm talking about. And my mom, who is 72, says she feels like she's still in her 30s. So age really is just a number. But I am 40 and I want to share with you the products I'm using every single morning. And the thing about for the thing for me when it comes to products, it's all about the ingredients. It's using the right ingredients in skincare. I am so passionate about ingredients and I have so many videos on YouTube talking about them, but the difference I really started seeing in my skin was when I became very conscious and aware of the products I was putting on my face and there's specific ingredients I want to use in specific formulas. And that has kept my skin looking so youthful. Now, as a disclaimer, in terms of injectables, and keep in mind, I'm always transparent with you. I'm always honest with you. There's no edits or filters on this video. I don't even have a ring light on. I just have this, I don't know, a, what would you call it? A, um, like a fuzzy glass. What is that called? I have just this like mirror behind me in my bathroom. And apologies if you can hear that lawnmower. He started literally as I was just about to start these videos. Anyways, um, in terms of injectables, I have baby Botox here and here on the side of my eyes, and I have a little bit of preventative Botox right here. Now you can see I can still move. I like to have my Botox very natural, and I was getting just two tiny little lines when I smiled, so the Botox is just there to help not exacerbate that. I don't have any Botox on my forehead. People are always asking me, they say, oh my God, Lauren, you're lying. It's not my personality, I'm not a liar. But you can see, I just don't really move my eyebrows when I talk, but I mean, I can. It's just it's just not something I do. I don't, I'm not someone that's expressive with my eyebrows. And because of that, I've it's allowed me to have a very smooth forehead combined with the ingredients that I use. That's sort of my, it's my thing. But you can see when I smile, so you can see a little bit of the line. I had the Botox, I think in, gosh, when was it? August, September. So, it, you know, it doesn't last forever. Um, so you can see there is some right there and I do get lines underneath my eyes when I smile. And I have no issue with lines or wrinkles. You do you. Um, it's just, this is, this is my face. So Getting into my skincare routine in the morning, first and foremost, I always wash my face with cold water and I cleanse my skin. Cleansers do not need to be expensive. Please do not spend 30, 40, $50 on a cleanser. It just does not need to be that expensive. The cleansers that I absolutely love are CeraVe. This is the hydrating facial cleanser. It's full of ceramides, which are going to help to really strengthen your skin's barrier, the strati stratum corneum. It keeps your skin moisturized, elastic, and it just keeps it looking healthy. The other cleanser I love is by The Ordinary. And this one you can find, I buy this online at Sephora. Um, and this one, by the way, I buy usually online at Target or pharmacies. I tend to load up, I live in Dubai, so I usually buy them in bulk every summer when I'm back in the US and I use them throughout the year. But for The Ordinary, this one contains squalene. Squalene is a wonderful ingredient because what it does is it's a natural moisturizing factor, while squalene is. As we get older, the amount of squalene we have in our skin just starts to decrease, unfortunately. And that's when we start to really show the signs of aging. 
This helps to just replenish our skin with this wonderful moisturizer. It's thick, it's creamy, and it just gives my skin a nice cleanse, but a very moisturizing cleanse. Cleansers should never strip your skin. Don't, please don't let your cleanser strip your skin. If your skin feels very dry after you cleanse, it's not the right cleanser for you. So I wash my face in the morning and I'll just put a pump on my hand of the CeraVe and I'll do it on this side of my skin. And I alternate between the two. It's usually just whichever one is closest to me is the one that I'll grab. And then I'll use the other one, this ordinary on the other side of my face. And this one is a little bit thicker. You can see it's a bit, it's whiter. And I just put this right on my skin and my skin feels great. Now I do have very dry skin. My skin type is dry. I don't have a drop of oil on me and I also do not have a drop of uh, melanin. I am a very white person and I always need to be really careful with my skin because well, I would be careful with my skin no matter where I live, but because I live in the Middle East and with that desert sun, it's just that much more of a prerogative for me to keep my skin as protected from the sun as possible, which we will get into in just a minute. So I give my skin just a quick wash and it feels great. It just feels nice. It's already feeling a bit like plumped up. And that's just because of the wonderful ingredients in the cleansers. Now, the first thing I use on my skin after I wash it is my vitamin C. And what I like to use is the derivative THD ascorbate. That stands for tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate. My background is actually biomechanical engineering and I have a master's of science in nursing. So I'm very much the science-y part. So THD ascorbate is a wonderful ingredient because it's a vitamin C derivative that's going to penetrate deep into the skin. It is teeny tiny. So once it gets into the skin, it actually converts to ascorbic acid, L-ascorbic acid. So you're getting the best benefits of vitamin C within the most pure form but you're having it in a very stable solution that is going to be able to penetrate deeply and get into those deeper layers of the skin. This is the Sunday Riley CEO Glow, and this has the vitamin in C and turmeric, which is a very brightener face oil. All the ingredients in this oil are wonderful for the skin. And I always put this on first. Now, typically when you do your skincare, you always want to go from thinnest to thickest in consistencies. And a lot of people will tell you to use oils last, but when my oils have, have, um, what am I saying? When my oils have active ingredients like vitamin C, I want to keep that as close to my skin as possible. So I put that on first. It's always worked great for me. And that's just how I do it. So the vitamin C is going to even out my skin tone. It plumps up the skin. It's going to minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It is going to brighten the skin. It kind of does everything I want to be done to my skin. And this is just a wonderful, wonderful product. I believe there's also squalane in here and all the ingredients are fantastic. On my skin, I will not put pro-drying alcohols. I won't put isopropyl palmitate. That is a very drying, mattifying ingredient and my skin is already so dry. I won't use fragrance. I'll never use perfume. And I avoid the essential oils like linalool, gerianol, as much as possible. Now for the under eye area, that's what I would describe as my problem area. I use two products. The first one is the Drunk Elephant Shaba Complex Eye Serum. This is full of peptides and peptides are going to trick your body into thinking that there is an injury at where the site where they're applied. So by putting peptides in my under eye area, my body is thinking there's some sort of injury and it needs to produce more collagen to heal it. So you can see where that's going. So it's just going to help to really firm up the skin. And it's a serum consistency, which means it's going to be thinner and it's going to be able to sink into my skin better. Then I top that off with an eye cream. 
And as you can see, there's a few brands that I just love, I'm very loyal to. The eye cream I like is the Drunk Elephant Sarah Mighty AF Eye Balm. This has the ceramides in it that we talked about with the cleanser. And this eye balm is just thick, it's beautiful, and it's going to just keep that under eye area so incredibly nourished. And it's going to help to keep the skin elastic, moisturized. It's going to prevent trans epidermal water loss, which means that the water in my body is going to stay in my body. My skin's gonna be plumped up. And it's making my under eye, the skin on my under eye area, just healthier and stronger, which is really what I'm always going for. Now that I have my eyes done, I'm going to move into my face cream. And during the day, I like to use this one, also by Drunk Elephant. This is the Proteini Polypeptide Cream. And this is full of peptides as well. And this is gonna go on my entire face. Now, I usually do about two pumps. If I'm feeling particularly dry, I will combine it with my Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream, which is full of ceramides. So you can see that there's certain ingredients I love to use. Now, this is packed with peptides, this cream, and it's basically telling my skin that it needs to form more collagen everywhere because my there's injuries on my face. And I always put my creams on in an upward motion. This cream is also just packed with lots of moisturizers, emollients, occlusives that are gonna keep my skin very, very moisturized and feeling great all day long. If my skin is not pro properly moisturized, it feels like it's going to crack in half just at any point of the day. I have, like I said, extremely, extremely dry skin. Now for the most important step, it's the sunscreen or the sunblock, I should say. And I always use a broad spectrum SPF 50. With broad spectrum, that means it's going to counteract both the UVA and the UVB rays. The UVA rays are the ones that are going to age you. And you need to use these even when you're in your home because they can penetrate through the windows. So you want to always make sure that you have a UVA protectant on your skin. They're the silent agers. You don't know that they're aging your skin. You don't see anything on your face. You're not burning from UVA rays but you will notice after a while you're getting sunspots, you're getting a lot of wrinkles, maybe you're starting to look a little bit raisiny, and that's from the UVA. Now the UVB rays are the ones that are going to burn you. They can't penetrate through the window, but you still should be protected from them. I swear by the Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion SPF 50, this is a chemical sunscreen. I know there's a lot of controversy about chemical versus mineral. Let me tell you, if I didn't use a chemical sunscreen and only use a mineral sunscreen, I would be in big trouble because I sweat a lot. I'd sweat the mineral right off and my sun would just my skin would be exposed to the sun. So for me, I am all about the chemical sunscreen and it is I think the right choice for my body. So I as you can see, I put on a heaping dose and I actually put this on all over my entire body every single day. And I do reapply it throughout the day. So just on my face, don't forget the chest. And honestly, I just do it everywhere. One thing I tend to do too, I didn't do it in this video as much, but whenever I have any excess on my hands, I always just make sure I treat the back of my hands just to keep my hands looking as healthy and you know, shiny and bright as possible. You can see that I do have two little spots right there. Um, so I mean, I am 40, this does happen. I will probably get picogenesis on them soon, but here I am and this is my morning skincare routine. I'm going to have my evening skincare routine up soon. I just need to film it and I'm not sure if I have enough time right now, but for the time being, you can watch my skincare routine, my evening skincare routine when I was 39, right here.